Hi guys, this is a redirect to my reaction to Hunt Hunter episodes 50, 51 and 52. These were some really good episodes. So firstly we saw Gon and Killua um, being captured, being caught by the Phantom Troop and the Phantom Troop Nobunaga had a arm wrestling match with Gon um, after he found out about um, Shizuku having an arm, arm wrestling match with him. Um, so... Nobunaga's really skilled, like, he's powerful. All of them are powerful in their own ways. And, like, then, like, because the fandom troop have found out that Uvogin got killed by the chain user, they obviously want to get information out of Gon and Killua about the chain user. But Gon and Killua were persistent that they didn't know who the chain user was because they don't know that Kurapika is the chain user that killed Uvogin. So the Phantom Troop are like really mad that Evogen died. They, especially Nob Nobunaga, he was extra salty. Like he seemed like he was extremely um close with Evogen. So he was deeply affected by it. And so is Crollo. Um, they're just such hypocrites. Like they kill anyone that stands in their way of their treasure, the stuff that they want to steal, and they killed a whole entire clan. But when one of their own dies, they go all salty. Like, what the hell? It's fucking cruel and it's just stupid. It's hypocritical to the core as well. I don't actually feel for them. I understand that it's better to like mourn for your own team members than to not care but it's hypocritical too because they killed so many other people killed other people's families and stuff and yet in the most br brutal ways as well like their methods of killing are just unbelievably harsh as hell and yeah and then they just get salty if one of their own gets killed like, what do you expect? Of course people are going to get revenge, you know? Um, of course you're going to make enemies. Um, anyway, uh, so Kurapika has been um, assigned to protect Neon. Neon, unfortunately, she went in disguise because she wanted to go to the auction. But, um, so uh, the Nostrad family failed at, like, protecting her. And then she... I don't know if that, that was even a date or something, but, like, <laughs> just an escort. I'll just say, because Crollo, he disguised himself as the chauffeur, and he was driving Neon to a fortune-telling session because he wanted to know what his fortune was. So, yeah, it was a fortune-telling fortune session because Neon is a fortune-teller, um, and um, in the fortune... Uh, the Crollo, uh, he found out that some verses were like about mourning and stuff, and about Scarlet Eyes, um, and then like, cause he's like really upset that Uvogin got killed, and so like the Phantom Troop again had another massacre in these episodes. They just killed all of the mafia members that were guarding the building that Neon is in, because they're protecting. Neon, they want to show the Phantom Troop that they're not afraid, which is why like tens and thousands of Mafia members were outside the building. Um, but they got inside the building, which is like full of treasure and stuff. Um, and the Phantom Troop obviously love their treasure. They're a bunch of heartless, murderous thieves. Um, and... We also got to um, see again the Zoldic family members, uh, the grandpa, and I believe it's Killua's dad, the one with the long, blonde, blondish, whitish hair, the guy with the muscles and the grandpa. Oh my god, they were so epic when they were facing Crollo. That that was a really cool fight. <clears throat> that was still an ongoing fight as well, um, that left out cliffhanger at the end. Um, that was so cool, like how the grandpa was being extremely deductive of what Crollo was doing. Like, um, Crollo got this, like, he was using techniques that, where he's stealing abilities, like, he sh he's showing that he's a specialist type of user, specialist Nen type of user, and he's, he's also got, like, conjure abilities because he's been stealing abilities from people, um, 
and they were like really like toe to toe with each other like no one but then again Crowler was facing two people so he struggled a bit but then again he was still holding his own against the grandpa and um Killua's dad I believe he is um but still, like, he had a really tough time um, trying to, like, capture them alive. I believe that's what his plan was. I don't think he was trying to kill them. Um, but anyway, um, so that was cool. The grandpa is awesome. Um, yeah, uh, so what did you think of these episodes? Let me know and stay tuned for more.